Hi, this is Andip Jali and Manos Brilakis, presenting case 270 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case that is unclear whether it was a success or a failure. The patient was an elderly gentleman with multiple comorbidities who presented with exertional dyspnea and fatigue, was found to have a right coronary artery CTO, and his symptoms were considered to be antenna equivalent. So he was referred for PCI of the right coronary artery CTO. This is the diagnostic angiogram. There is an occlusion of the proximal and middle AD. No significant disease on the left. Uh, there are several collaterals filling a small PDA system as well as the right posterior lateral. And he did have a coronary CTA that demonstrated essentially two areas of occlusion, one in the proximal and one in the mid-right coronary artery. There was some calcium in the mid-right coronary artery. The occlusions were short, and the distal vessel was small, diffusely diseased. There were some collaterals that were coming from the LED. So our plan here was to try undergrade wiring, given the short length of the occlusion. And if that didn't work, go retrograde from the septals and leaving ADR as the last option because of the relatively small size of the distal vessel. So we tried undergrade wiring with polymer jacketed wires, but uh, this was not successful. So we switched to the retrograde approach. And uh, despite trying a SUO3 as well as a Sion black guide wire, we were actually unable to cross distally. We did have a safety wire into the LED for protection. We then went uh, uh, back in the undergrade direction. We tried uh, parallel wiring. The wire was in the extra plug space, but once again, we did not have good luck with crossing. So eventually, we took the filter XTR and knuckled it and then advanced the knuckle along the area of tortuosity in the mid-RCA, as we had seen with the coronary CT angiogram. So there is uh, where the wire is going. And, uh, you know, this didn't look perfect in terms of the location of the lesion, but it looks like we were in the distal RCA, past the bend in the mid-RCA. He did have a lot of hematoma, so we decided to use a guide extension to try to prevent the expansion of the hematoma. And then we did the straw technique both through a microcatheter and also using aspiration through the stingray balloon. Given the trouble we had undergrade with the hematoma, we tried retrograde again, but we're seeing some septal uh, hematomas as well, so we had not good luck in getting uh, crossing retrograde. Given the hematoma, we became more aggressive. We took the guide extension out and we used this technique in which we have a balloon blocking undergrade flow of blood to the right coronary artery. And then we advanced the microcatheter past it through which we're aspirating. And then we used the stingray balloon trying to get back into the distal true lumen. At this point, the patient did become agitated and we were a little concerned whether we had an issue. So we did a, a brief contrast injection, which of course destroys... Uh, the options for the entry, but what it showed us is that we were actually not into the distal RCA, but our stingray balloon was more into an acute marginal branch, and our attempts to cross had caused a small contrast extravasation into this acute marginal branch. So we inserted uh, a small balloon, did an echo that did not show a pericardial effusion, and then to avoid getting into this branch, we used the side base technique with a balloon halfway in the distal RCA and halfway into that acute marginal branch. And then after doing that and using a Pilot 200 uh, guide wire, this um, uh, wire was able to knuckle. And eventually it is crossing in a different plane that is going towards the distal right coronary artery. Exchange for a miracle, use a stingray, try to do the entry again. And we eventually did get access into the distal true lumen, but we had some dissection, we had poor outflow and extensive dissection in the proximal and middle AD. So we debated, but decided in the end to stop. The other good news are that there was no continued extravasation from this acute marginal branch. So the inflation of the small balloon was sufficient to achieve hemostasis into the acute marginal branch. So we can argue, was this a successful procedure or a failed procedure? We did restore flow into the marginal branch as well as the posterior lateral. The PDA was small, but we don't really have any flow there, however. 
what we learned is that uh, creation of an extra plaque hematoma is the big enemy of ADR. And in our case, despite using various techniques such as the straw aspirating with a separate microcatheter and the blocking balloon, we had difficulty clearing it. The second thing is that the wire we weren't sure it was in the right spot, and actually it was in the marginal, not into the distal RCA, and we're partially confused because of the overlap, which emphasizes the importance of dual injections. We also learned that uh, if we just have a guide wire exit from the vessel, this can usually be repaired by using a balloon and prolonged balloon inflation, and this achieved hemostasis in our case. And then in cases like this one where we have extensive dissection and not the best outflow, it is best not to place stents, but instead uh, let the vessel heal and then have the patient come back for a repeat procedure. Thank you.